What's up all you daggum farmers? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and our ongoing saga, The Cow Farm Chronicles. In this video, our quest for success continues as we face new hurdles on our path to building our bovine empire. Our goal for today, to sow the seeds of progress by planting our mighty cornfield and expanding our cow population with a new barn. But hold on to your overalls because before we dive into that, we've got a hay billing contract that is a cash infusion we need for the upcoming barn purchase. All this in pursuit of our ambitious target of reaching $3 million in just three years. Sit back, relax, and witness the growth as I set out on this path of trials, error, and success. If you enjoy this video, let me know by leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it right here. Um, first of all, I hope everybody is having a great day. So I've done about three rows of baling this hay. I've spent the better part of my morning getting this contract done because I saw it early, early this morning posted on the job board and it was going to give us over $20,000, which I don't know if you can see up in the top right, but we are sitting at $75,000. And as I stated, my plan for today is to get us a new cow barn. However, new cow barns are about $80,000. And there's also a few extra costs as well because we're going to need a manure heap and we're going to need some cows. I don't want to just sit in there empty not being used. So we're going to need to make a little bit of money and bailing this hay, getting it sold over to the animal dealer, I think where we got to take it, is going to give us... I think a pretty good amount and uh, as you can see I got my uh, little New Holland it's not a little New Holland it's a it's like a medium-sized New Holland uh, I'll treat it right <laughs> sitting there with the bale pick up trailer um, I got all these tools spread out sporadically right here that I've been using uh, that I rented and I also rented this sweet class class I don't know how to pronounce this but I really like their color scheme and I really like this brand um, it was just kind of coincidental that I got the, the baler and the tractor together. What is your favorite tractor brand? I'm really curious to know what everybody's favorite brand is. There's tons of brands out there. There's tons of different utilities and uses for them. Um, I'm, st I'm starting to really like New Holland. I, I like the color scheme and I like the, I just like the, the form of their tractors. I think they look really good. Uh, but I know a lot of people are just die-hard John Deere fans. I, I know a lot of people love those tractors. Um, this Kloss brand, I'm sure this has a huge following for it. But just, yeah, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. All right, looks like we're finishing up this last row here. I got my pretty nice big old New Holland sitting there waiting to get to planting because uh, in the last episode, we totally messed up and thought... I could plant uh, corn in March, which you can't do. That's not a thing you can do. You have to plant in, in April. You can plant sunflowers and stuff like that in March, but you can't plant corn. I had to wait. So as I finish up here, I'm going to be hopping into my other New Holland that's sitting there ready to pick up all the bales. Um, it's probably going to take me a few trips. There's quite a few bales here. Let me know your guess right now before I, um, here, actually, can I unload this? Uh, let's turn it off, right? And then unload. Bang. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is going to take me a few trips, but we'll get it done, and I'll have a final tally for how many hit bales of hay this was um, at, at the final trip when, I, when we get to the animal dealer. An operating position. There we go. Okay, cool. I've never used this one, so I have no idea what is it. What it's gonna do? Is it gonna just just shoot them up onto the trailer? Let's watch. Oh wait, actually, that's pretty cool. Oh dang. Well, daggum. That's actually way simpler than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna like shoot them up into the air onto the trailer and be some kind of crazy circus act. But no. Nah. Real easy, sets it up there, and then probably when it gets to... Oh, nope, just two. Hmm, okay. Okay, so seven's 50%, meaning we can hold 14 total bales. Um, alright, let's see how many trips we take. At 14 bales per trip. 
this is a big stepping stone in getting us enough money for a new barn. Uh, we're totally ready for one because our first cow barn is full. We're sitting at 80 cows right now, and those guys are just pumping out milk, slurry, manure, all kinds of stuff. So we are really, oh geez, we're really going to need to start kicking it into gear and thinking like a high level producing cow farm. Let's go ahead and get in the transporting position and we'll get up onto the road here, Patty. Come on. I'll be acting like a savage. Oh yeah, I can't wait to just expand this field, this giant barley field, all the way out to these trees and this fence. And then I'm thinking I'm going to buy... There's a little field way out there. If you look on the on the map here, we'll make it bigger. Um, it's number 16. I'm going to buy that. Oh, jeez, I ran into my own fence. You guys are distracting me. I'm going to buy that field and expand... 15 into it. So it's just going to be a giant, like, straw producing field constantly because we're going to need a lot of straw. We're going to need a lot of grass. A lot of grass and well, a lot of silage, I guess. So that's why we're doing, that's why we're planting the cornfield. Alright, here we are for trip number one. Let's go ahead and let them know we're here. Hello. <laughs> and. Oh, we're going to have to unload, huh? Is that. A... I bet it's going to be some cool animation there. Uh, it just like pushes it. Oh jeez, look at that. That's intense. Uh, do we do it again? Unload bills here. Bam! Okay, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and then uh, lower loading platform. 55% transported. Okay, cool. So it looks like one more trip and that will satisfy our contract requirements meaning the rest will be for us to sell but it looked like maybe we probably had probably one more trailer full now uh, one and a half maybe trailers full I, I, I don't know look like we were about 40 percent through the field okay so our third and final trailer full of hay bales we had about eight bales and it gave us i think nine thousand eight hundred and something dollars and now we have a grand total of one hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and forty dollars to play with to get our new cow barn all situated but really quickly before we do that i think i'm gonna do some cleaning up of the area that i'm gonna put the cow barn in I want to keep it close to the other cows because I want them to be, I don't want them to be lonely. I don't want them to feel separated. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the new cow barn kind of like right along this fence line right here. I might keep these trees because I kind of like them for shade for my cows. They see they're kind of like hanging out in the shade. But I'm thinking these three tall, uh, what are you? Oh, three p tall pines, they need to go. So I am going to run over and go grab the flatbed because we are going to load these up and go sell these. Might as well get a little bit more more money as well. So I'm going to get these few trees chopped up here and load it onto the flatbed by hand. And then we're going to run down to the carpentry area because we haven't seen that yet. So that's going to be kind of cool. Maybe there's another collectible there waiting for us. Let's go ahead and hop out of the truck here. Pull the old trusty chainsaw out and we're gonna cut these down into the field going this way do as much as we can even though these are huge trees this is gonna be we're gonna have to cut them down to tiny little tiny little logs to pick up and put on the flatbed but that's okay and we're also gonna be getting rid of the stump with the chainsaw as well there we go just turn the chainsaw like this Hold it for a second, and away she goes. Um, can I pick that up? Hmm. Is that part of the tree still? What's going on here? Nice! Okay, actually, we can get rid of the stump. That's amazing. Cool, so I'm gonna get rid of these two stumps really quickly. Oh, whoops. Nice, just kind of walk down the trunk there. And then, um, 
We'll just uh, chop it like right there. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna be overconfident and like think I'm gonna be able to lift like ten foot long logs. Even this is getting kind of big right here. I feel like getting maybe too a little too heavy. All right, put the chainsaw away. Pick this bad boy up. Cool. Yeah. I think that pine tree was a little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna be. So we'll just go ahead and load. Now we'll load from the front. We'll load from the front right there. Put that one. Cool. All right. I'll get these loaded. I'll catch up with you guys when everything is all strapped down and we're headed to the carpenter. Okay, looks like I got all the, lo the logs loaded there. I realized it was easier just to move the truck than to run back and forth holding the log because I was getting pretty sweaty and they were pretty heavy. So we are going to run over down to the best place to sell wood right now, which would be carpentry or a sawmill. Let's go to the carpentry. They're paying probably a little bit more. It looks like 50, 60 bucks more. Let's go ahead and tag that place. Oh, look up in the sky for our handy dandy marker and it's way over there. Okay, so I'll figure out how to get over there and I'll meet you guys there and see how much we get for all these pine logs. All right, here we are at the carpet. Oh, jeez, what's going on? We're good, we're good. So, okay, cool. I've never been to this area. I think we might need to do a little scouting out to see if there's any little plastic pigs or harvesters or anything like that, because I bet there are. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, unload the wood right here. Yeah, on the top out of the truck go over to this thing right here sell wood nice it sold about half of it okay cool we got 1100 bucks for that or maybe only about a quarter actually so maybe I'm just gonna have to throw all of this wood off into a pile right there because this is kind of like an, an awkward like an awkward angle here <laughs> just tossing it there we go go ahead and sell the wood oh <laughs> the trailer's in the way. <laughs> of course. Alright, so trailer's out of the way there, and I think, if my eyes don't deceive me, we got a little plastic thing right here. Cool. Nice, got a thousand more bucks just for finding something. Always a good day. Let's go ahead and lift this up, bring it over to his friends, and maybe get like another, I don't know, thousand bucks or something. 1700 Oh, look, we got one that's a little straggler kind of left behind. Come here, little buddy. You gotta go. Sorry. All right. $99 for that little piece of wood. Sweet. Let's go back over to the farm and get designing on our new cow barn. Oh, heck yeah. Look at Good thing I looked, too. Here's one. Oh, let me grab it. There we go. Is there any more over here? And here's two. Look, at that's $2,000. $3,000, actually, just for going to a new area of the map. I love flying collectibles. I think they're a cool addition to Farming Simulator. Kind of forced me to explore. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're going to line the cow barn up. Like, like We're going to line the fence up with these guys, kind of leave a bit of a gap here, maybe four or five feet so that these trees have room and we can cut this grass in between. But I want them to be friends. I want them to be able to talk to each other. I don't want them to feel separated. So let's go ahead and hop into the construction mode here. Kind of zoom out a bit, go over to animals, cows, and we're going to be doing this one. What's going on with the camera here? Come on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking maybe we put it like right over here somewhere. Kind of give it a nice spot next to the road. A good amount of room for us to back in with the livestock trailer. And kind of keep the slurry next to the other manure. Hmm. 
What do you guys think? Does that look good? Right there? Overlaps with another object. Where? What? What? Okay, so now I can place it. I just had to paint the ground first. Interesting. Well, I actually kind of want it closer. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. Cool. Okay, so if we put it right here, that's going to cost us 81000 which I actually really like it right there. Okay, cool. Bam. Okay, only leaves us with <laughs> $36,300 there. So let's go over to silo extensions. We need a manure heap. And uh, how do we turn this bad boy? How do I turn it? Like that. Okay. There we go. I want it like that. Right about there. What do you guys think? Is that good? Is that pretty? Alright, we only got... Oh man, we only got $11,000, so... We're probably not going to get too many cows, but... If we just get a few, that's better than nothing. So I'm going to hop back into our big rig here, but I'm going to disconnect from the flatbed. Going to connect over to the cattle wagon and get us maybe, I don't know, it's going to cost, shoosh, maybe, I can maybe get five gals, I don't know, but five is really better than nothing, and we need to get working on planting the field, that's going to be the last thing we do in this episode. Oh, I only folded the ramps, whoops, by accident, alright, let's fold those back up. Oh, do I have straw for them? Ooh, good question, I'm going to roll by my, uh... ooh, doesn't look like I have straw. Uh-oh. Nope, only got hay bales. Okay. And it's not like I can take straw out of these guys. They got 38,000 liters of it. <laughs> that is a problemo there, folks. That's okay. I think they can go, like, a couple days without straw. Go back up into here get right underneath it there we go bang okay um five cows please let's buy the middle priced ones okay go ahead and buy five of these guys buy five yes okay cool okay so we got five more cows in our trailer we got $5,700 left in our bank account. Let's get some new hooves in our new cow barn. Man, this is exciting, guys. This is a big step for us. This is a really, really big step. Having a second cow barn, we're going to start producing milk and slurry and, and manure like crazy. Which means we're only going to be adding more cows and making more money. Because it's a really big reach to get to $3 million in three years. Honestly, like it's... What's going on? Whoa! That was weird. Oh, can I uh, can I just move them straight into the husbandry right here? Cool. Let's go ahead and select them. Bang. Move to husbandry. Yes. All right, guys. Welcome to your new home. I appreciate you guys being the new additions to the brand new cow barn. You guys are going to love it here. I got you situated up next to your friends. Um, but I got... Oh, hey, actually, I made a little bit of money from my solar panels. Perfect. That's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to go and actually call the guys at the dealership right now. Order some straw. Where's the, where's the, this, that, that one. Okay. Order some straw, round bale, I mean, what's the difference? What's the difference? Why is one cheaper than the other? I don't know. I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the cheaper one. Let's go this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, but, uh... I was going to take my truck, so we should probably buy the square ones. Get four of those. Alright, it's going to be about $3,800. Go ahead and buy that. Oh, wait, so it's going to be about $5,160. Dang, I was looking at the wrong spot. Okay, so got that waiting for us down there. Okay, so I'm going to get this parked up. I'm going to hop into my pickup truck, attach that to the, the milk tanker. 
fill up with some milk, go sell the milk, and then go pick up the straw bales. I know, that was a lot. Alright, 8,000 liters of milk right there. Now let's get on down... Actually, let's check the highest price. Trying to make the most money here. Some milk's right there. Bang. Okay. And, of course, Johnson's, Farm Mar Johnson's Farmer's Market has the highest price right there. So let's go run down there real quick. And it's perfect because that's actually on the way to the co-op, which is where our straw bales are. Sitting there waiting for us to be bedding for our brand new cows. We really didn't need to sell this milk. Um, but I just didn't want to be sitting at a thousand dollars. Kind of scares me. I feel like I'm gonna have expenses come out. I don't want to be sitting in the negative. Luckily, we have our solar panels that are paying us every hour. Not a whole lot. Looks like about a thousand. Dang, this thing is squirrely. About a thousand something dollars every hour. But hey, that's actually. I mean, when it, it really adds up. Coming in hot. Look out. And I think it's this one. One of them. Nice! We got $16,515 on that. And actually, why am I spinning all the way around? Because I'm going to be going down the shortcut. I'm picking up the straw bales. I'm going to throw them on the flatbed. Um, hopefully they have a forklift for me there. I, mean, I know they do. I'm just being kind of in expecting right now. That's okay. I'm in a hurry. we got to plant our cornfield as soon as possible. Woo! <laughs> it was like Dukes of Hazard there. Oh man, okay, so these straw bales are way <laughs> bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh man, okay, so I'm going to get these loaded up and we'll get back down to the farm. <laughs> okay, so we got the straw bales all <laughs> loaded. <laughs> We're looking a little precarious here. Oh, man. I'm trying to turn all the way around. <laughs> These are a little bigger than I thought they were going to be, so uh, I had to make do I had to make do with what I got on my space here, you know what I mean? So hopefully we get all the way over there without tipping over. Actually, we're pretty centered holding the trailer. Cool. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my luck here and... Hit the gas, try to follow this around. And luckily, we're our, we got our straps on our hay bales here. Oh! Oh, actually, yeah, look, we're, like, solid. It's keeping us planted down to the ground. I thought we were going to be way top-heavy, but luckily we have our trailer on. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Look at this. This is wild. The... The trailer is the trick. Oh, watch out for traffic! Woo! Tokyo Drift! <laughs> that thing was totally sideways! <laughs> and you guys know me, the first thing I want to do when I get more money is go, is go get more cows. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to stick to our plan here. We're going to hop in the big old New Holland. After we get these hay bales dropped off, we're going to get the cows fed. Woo! Right at the end, don't tip over. Nice! We're going to hop in the big New Holland, and we're going to get planted, because... I mean, it's already April, halfway through April, where we are doing one-day months. So, we need to get to work. Stop lollygagging. Also, I think, um, after I let you guys go, I'm going to get rid of all these trees. Maybe get a little bit more, more money there. And probably get some more cows. Because, like I said, I like to spend money on cows. So, let's go ahead and unstrap these. And then we're going to hop into our John Deere. So let's just go ahead and drop the trailer right there. Bang. Oh, not that one. Uh, that one. Cool. So I got two right there. Not the best. Oh, don't hit the truck. Oh, jeez. All right. That's not the... It's not an OSHA-approved load, I know, but um, we're going to work with what we got here. Somewhere? Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Bam! Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other stack of two straw bales thrown in here for their bedding as well. And then we're going to hop into our new Holland attached to the planter.
starter planting. I know I've said that like a hundred times in this episode, but man, taking care of these cows is quite, quite the undertaking, especially when we have two cow barns now. But this is what we signed ourselves up for, so I think they're a little too far outside the, the area. There we go. That one's gone. And this one should be gone in two seconds. Cool. There we go. But nice. Look, you guys got your own little pasture here. You're all set up with food. You got some straw. Now we're just waiting for you to make some milk. You can talk to your friends right over across the gate there. You got some shade with the trees. Man, I think I'm doing pretty good at this cow farm and stuff, honestly. Now, like I said earlier, probably after I close this episode out, I'm going to go buy some more cows. We need to go hop in our New Holland and get to planting. We got all of that work done. And I have all of my seeds and my solid fertilizer just in case I run out because this is just a huge, huge field, honestly. I know it doesn't really seem like it, but once you start getting into it and start working, this field is massive. Let's go ahead and start finally planting. Let's get lined up here. I think I'm going to do a couple laps around the headland first. Lower it. Oh, I'm excited. You need to unfold it. Oh, okay. What? What's going on here? So I need to lift it and then unfold it, right? Okay, and then lower it again. And now start. Oh, okay, cool. We're planting. We're planting corn. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, Petty. Don't miss your... Don't miss your perimeter there. This thing likes to wiggle. I can't forget. Let's go ahead and zoom out a tiny bit here. Oh, it's... Ah, uh, man, I should have really cut down those trees. They're kind of messing with my visibility, trying to see the edge of the field there. Sweet. I'm so excited to see what this harvest gives us. And again, we don't need the uh, solid fertilizer for the big center portion where the, the previous crop of grass was because we cultivated straight into that, and it gave us a first layer of fertilized state, which is great. But I'm just going to do it for overkill. Let's go ahead and lift that up. And yeah, look that way. Uh, I can't see. Let's go this way with it. This probably would have been easier with the, uh, the T7, I think is the other New Holland I have. I think this is the T9, right? Um, there we go. Go start planting. This probably would have been easier with that tractor. But we haven't used this tractor very much, and you know what? I figured it wouldn't be too much of overkill. We might be able to go faster, get more done. It's got a lot more, a lot more horsepower, a lot more traction. Oh dang! Okay, looks like we're already running out of seeds, though. Good thing we made it all the way back to the beginning. So I'll just go ahead and lift up right here, turn it off. I had 10 liters of seeds left. Oh man, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, kind of back up into the seeds right here. And let's refill. Oh, it's getting the fertilizer, but that's fine. Whatever. Grab the seeds. Bang! Okay, it only holds 660 liters. Dang, that's not a whole lot. Good thing we got a ton of seeds. So I'm thinking I might uh, go ahead and make this into a nice little time lapse. Maybe, maybe do a nice little lap here. Okay, and just like that, 
with about two more passes, planting season, and this episode will be coming in to a close here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, today has been a really big step in making progress for our cow farm. We added a new barn, we added some new cows, we got our our corn... Oh, I turned it off, whoops. <laughs> Uh, we got our corn field planted, which is going to be a huge amount of silage, which we're going to make into TMR later on in the year. But luckily, as you can see, there's a little bit of rain here in the forecast. We're finishing just in time. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any suggestions or anything you want me to do, anything uh, you think I could do better, let me know down in the comments. Um, but... Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Nice. Fully planted. Fully fertilized. Now we just wait. Oh, also, don't be surprised if in the next episode all these trees are gone. Yeah, every single one.